Hello friends, Father Frank Pavone here, National Director of Priests for Life, with Pro-Life Reflections for the readings of the fourth Sunday of Year A. It would be hard to find a set of readings more appropriate for comment on pro-life themes than those of this weekend. The Beatitudes in the Gospel are all about turning upside down the way the world evaluates who is important and worthy of attention. The Lord and the Church point us to those who count for nothing, the second reading, in the eyes of the world as those specially favored by God. When the Beatitudes speak of the poor, they don't only mean those who are materially deprived. Scripture refers to the poor as those who are completely dependent upon God, those who have no worldly help, those who have been marginalized. The unborn are the poorest of the poor. In the eyes of so many in the world and in the eyes of the law, they count for nothing. They have little or no defense. They are the ones, above all, to whom the words of today's responsorial psalm can be applied. The Lord secures justice for the oppressed. The Lord sets captives free and raises up those that were bowed down. The Lord does this, of course, through His people who, as the Beatitudes say, are sorrowing because they weep over the injustices of the world, like abortion, who hunger and thirst for justice to see the rights of all respected, who show mercy, particularly the, to those in danger of death, who are peacemakers. For as Mother Teresa said, the greatest destroyer of peace is abortion and who are insulted and persecuted for my sake, as many pro-life activists are. The Lord secures justice, as the psalm says. And therefore the prophet Zephaniah urges the Lord's people, seek justice. And the Beatitudes declare that those who do so are blessed. To be like God, we must do the works of God. Today, Let's all, as God's people, commit to be actively involved in the pro-life cause. Friends, to find more pro-life reflections for the readings of all the Sundays of the year, go to preachingonabortion.com, where you can also order my book, Proclaiming the Message of Life.